appreciate you guys being here. Um, a great college basketball game here. I mean, Maryland is always really good and talented and well coached. Um, I remember the first time I came down here with my first team, we lost by a thousand points. And uh, we've come a long way because of these guys. We've won our last two down here, and it's a credit to the work that they do. Um, you know, just pleased. Great second half. I thought we even hung around in the first half, just turned the ball over, had too many turnovers. Um, you get a career high. Paul had as good a second half as you could have. But everybody that was at the game, everyone chipped in uh, and made plays for us, and we needed all of them. We had great energy, uh, fought the whole time, and um, just pleased. You know, anytime you can win a game in, in this league on the road, it's big. But... You know, that's a good basketball team, too. I mean, they do a good job. Fats Russell was Ayala. I mean, these guys are, are really good. So pleased for a second, and then we got the next one to start worrying about. What was said at halftime? What was the focus between the second half? Anything I mean, I hope you guys, you know, I, I understand, you know, we turned the ball over and stuff. We, we, we played hard. We played really hard in the first half. I mean, the foul line, you can't defend the foul line. And we turned the ball over too much. So I came in at halftime. I said, they got 18 points off of our turnovers. They got 13 off of free throw line. And when we played our good defense, they scored seven points. So stop turning it over. Stop fouling. We did that in the second half. And, you know, um, these guys stayed the course. They were great. Um, it's tough. Again, to win a game, you know, on the road is tough. But you got to grind away. We grind away for 40 minutes. Had, you know, good, good road win. Uh, that's what happened at halftime. I actually wasn't even raising my voice, right, Paul? Uh -huh. It wasn't one of those halftimes. I liked our effort. I liked our energy. I liked the guys came off the bench. I mean, we, you know, but we turned the ball over too much and gave them pick yeah, sixes. And, and I think that was, uh, you know, that was one of the issues. And once we settled down, played good basketball, and these guys made plays down the stretch, really exciting. I think our team mental toughness. I mean, our whole team. Man, we're, you know, these guys are good and they're tough. He stayed the course. I mean, a great second half. I don't know if he could play any better. He was involved in everything, you know. But we believe in him. He's a good player and he's tough. Makes tough plays. Ron made some big, huge shots, some big rebounds, some big free throws. Uh, but uh, you know, this this team has fiber to it. Caleb McConnell, we do a great job on their two guards. He makes a big basket for us. Cliff does what Cliff does. He's a problem around the basket, you know, um, Gio, some timely, you know, possessions and some passing. And Gio had to sit down and guard really good guards. So, you know, just a great team win. And his second half, his second half, that's, you know, really helps. That was really help. Yes. What, what was the root of the turnovers in the first half? Yeah, no, I just thought we were a little anxious. This, we were ready to play. You know, we were ready to play from the start. So I uh, was happy about that. Um, you know, just some uncharacteristic, you know, turnovers. And once we settled down and really executed and did what we were supposed to do, we didn't have that issue. But, you know, that happens in games. I'm just glad, you know, you know, every game is different. Every game is a different journey. You know, we were able to settle down and correct our mistakes and uh, sign a good players. And, and, and they get all the credit. They did an unbelievable job and they settled in and, you know, and, and were able to take care of business in the second half. That's just trusting my teammates and trusting the offense. You know, I, I get open shots like that in practice uh, since the preseason, so I'm not worried about that. I don't, I don't need to hunt shots. I know that these guys are going to find me in the right spots, and they do it night in and night out. So I'm never worried about my shots and me hunting shots because I know dudes like Paul, Caleb, Gio, and, and the rest of the cast are always going to find me. Steve, what does it mean to get a conference road win? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. You see the scores. You see this league especially. Home court advantages are tremendous. I mean, we didn't, you know, we were fouling too much. You had that going against us. Um, you know, so to go on the road and, and win, you got to play great. And I thought we really played played great in the second half. And I loved our effort in the first half. Uh, you know, we were down. And, you know, I love it. People don't, you know, they just can keep doubting this group. It's good. It's good. We just keep grinding. And these guys are good. These guys are good. And they're tough. And, and they want to win. And uh, it's, it's a tough league to win in. What was it like to have Matt back? 
I mean, great energy. You see what he brings, and he hadn't practiced really either, so mm -hmm. he hasn't really been with us. He's had no rhythm to his season. I feel bad for him, uh, but he's a good defender. He's a high-energy guy. You know, we'll get him back, you know, in the fold. He gives us another guy in case guys get in foul trouble, and he's really athletic. So, um, you know, again, we had to fight through a lot of that stuff, COVID, MAG, you know, Geo, missing games, you know, like so – We've, we've hit some obstacles, and um, we just keep plugging. So happy to have him back, though. He's been a long – he's had a long stretch off here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, every every different – obviously, you know, Ron's a hard guard, uh, to, you know, for anybody. He can put it down. He can shoot. He can post. Um, you know, I was screaming at him to rebound tonight. Uh, but Ron's like, I'm doing everything else. <laughs> so, you know, um, but, uh, you know, when Gase, it was his night tonight. It was Paul's half tonight. Um, you know, every night somebody go against, you know, Michigan, every Caleb in games, you know, we got a group like that. And Andre Hyatt gave us great minutes, too, in the first half coming off the bench, too. So I can mention that. But, um, you know, when, when Ron plays like that, he's, you know, he's good. We have a lot of confidence in Ron and, and a lot of faith in him. And, uh, we have a lot of faith in this group. Ron, how much does this team's experience come in handy? Like this? You guys have kind of seen it all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this team is, a, is an experienced group, and we're down 11 and a half on the road. It would have been really easy for us to just lay down and just let them keep piling the points on top of us. But we came in at halftime. We were confident, like Coach said. Uh, I really liked how hard the guys played, how I played. And we just went in there and we told we told each other that we playing hard. We just got to play smarter and we got to limit turnovers, limit fouls. And we just stuck to the game plan. We stayed the course. And in the second half, we got the results that we wanted to. So the experience definitely it definitely helped because we know that, uh, no matter how, how out of reach the game looks, we were down to the number one team in the country by 10 points with under 10 minutes left and we came back. So I, I'm real confident that this group can come back from anything. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys being here.